Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to multiply this problem. We have 10% times 5%. So, para sa mga hindi nakakalam on how to multiply this kind of given problem, like 10% times 5%, maaaring ang maging sagot mo rito is 50%. Ngayon pa lang, sinasabi ko sa'yo, that answer is wrong. This is very wrong. So, ang target natin ngayon is to discuss how are we going to multiply kapag naka-encounter ka ng ganitong klaseng problem. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, basically guys, hindi pwedeng agad-agad i-multiply yung 10% and 5%. Ang basic mong kailangan gawin dito is to convert first 10% and 5% into its specific value or yung kanyang decimal value. So, let's say for example ito. Yung 10% natin, is convert muna natin into decimal point. Remember, kapag tayo nag-convert ng isang percentage into a decimal value, we will start here at this point and then mag-move tayo ng two decimal places from right from right to left. So mula dito, 1 and 2. So as you can see, nandito siya mapupunta. Ngayon, ang maging value niya, it's either 0.10 or to make it simple that is just 0.1 and on the other side naman we have 5% we convert natin to into decimal value again we will start here your decimal point and then same direction we will move two decimal places from right to left so we have one and 2. So, mapansin nyo, may isa tayong space dito. That's why, yung ating decimal value is 0. Point. Ito yung point na yan. Then, meron dito, dito isang space, which is 0. So, we have 0 0.05. And, copy natin yung ating operation, which is multiplication. Now, in multiplying, ito na siya, we can now multiply 10% times 5% once na na-convert na siya into decimal values. Yung 10% natin, again, recap lang tayo. We have 0 0.1. Yung 5% natin is 0 0.05. Yung first step natin is yung manual multiplication. Sa so manual multiplication natin, we will use this space. We have 0 0.05 times 0 0.1. So manual multiplication natin, 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is also 0, and the rest is 0, 0, and 0. So, add lang natin sila lahat, that is 0, ah oh, sorry, 5, this is 5, 0, 0, 0. Ngayon, to finalize our answer, we need to count the number of decimal values or decimal places here. So, first decimal natin, we have 1, 2. And pangatlo ito. So, we will count here. Nandito ngayon yung ating decimal value. Ibig sabihin nito guys, yung sagot natin sa 0, sa 0 0.1 times 0 0.05 is simply, eto ha, the answer is simply 0 0.005. Ito ngayon yung sagot natin for 10% times 5%. Pero may isa pa tayong way on how to multiply decimals. Kung mapansin nyo, the number here is 1, 0 0.1. So, kung yung multiply natin yung ating 0 0.05 by 0 0.1, may shortcut tayo without using the manual computation. Okay? So, we have 0 0.05 times 0 0.1. Kung mapansin nyo, meron tayong isang decimal value dito or decimal place dito. Ibig sabihin, ang gagawin lang natin is mag-move tayo ng one decimal place papunta sa left. Ibig sabihin, nandito na yung bagong decimal value natin. At ibig sabihin yan, the answer is simply 0 0.005. And this is the shortcut on how to multiply whole number or any number with 0 0.01. Mag-move lang tayo ng one decimal point from right to left. And kung mapansin nyo, parehas na parehas ang ating sagot. Again, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. 
Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!